good cross wanted now in the middle and there goes it's a goal yes what a goal that man Andy Walker what well literally 20 seconds gone and what more could you ask for a superb move there well Stuart how about that for a start and Charlton Brown again finds Stubbs and then Patterson in acres of space and what a pass there from Alan Stubbs beautiful pass perfect Patterson crosses it Derby good header it's a goal Julian Derby how do you like that one superb goal and really Huddersfield you don't know what's in because let's face it Norton have not been doing more for the attack in this thing now dangerous but it was very unprofessional he dragged his man back and otherwise Scott Green could have easily got a good crossing but we still got the chance we're in a good position Patterson Stubbs oh here's the goal he's pulling it up it's a goal Alan Stubbs he what a what a good goal that was from Stubbs well as well Stuart I'll tell you what if ever a, a goal was deserved that was deserved because of the challenge but... Seagraves and Brown forward Here's Phil Brown, didn't quite connect, Scott Green, is he going to shoot? He is, track it, what a goal! Scott Green, what a fantastic goal from Scott Green, Stewart. That was a superb goal from Scott Green, he hit it, he caught the angle of the crossbar and the post. Plenty of men forward in the box for Port Vale. Looking for the near post flick on, gets it. And that's Foyle, good goal. Port Vale fans cheering there. That was an excellently taken goal, and I'm sure the Bolton defence will be pretty unhappy about that, mainly because they've gone some six games before today without letting a goal in, Stuart. That's the first one in. Now here come Bolton again, pressing well, Stubbs, Andy Walker, there it is, goal number one, what a delightful goal, what a ding dong do, delightful, goal number one scored by Andy Walker. And Crumplin for Brighton to Moulding, Moulding gets it forward, oh! It's there, it's one apiece, scored by, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> oh, Brighton coming forward here, and uh, Robinson, and there they have a goal, scored by Chapman. Uh, Brighton, uh, would you believe it, they took the lead against the runner play, they come forward on a rear attack there, and the ball is in the back of them. Martin Foyle trying to find uh, a veil man, but oh dear, oh dear, and the Bolton are through, and it's one on one, and it's one now, and it's number nine, it's Andy Walker, who's done it for Bolton Rogers. John Jeffers now, or rather Martin Foyle, I should say, and we're looking for uh, Ian Taylor, and he's got through, and Ian Taylor on goal, go on Ian, he's got it. Time. I can't help but get excited. Steadily coming down. Not many Reading fans made the journey up from Berkshire. Today, Patterson swings another one across. Philly skirts up and it's there. It's a goal, it's at Seagraves. Yes, that's great goal by Seagraves. Terrific corner there from... Mark Patterson headed on by Philly Skirk. Seagraves on hand after seven minutes 
Andy Walker's moving away. Phyllis Cook, it is his look for. Phyllis Cook puts it across. It's picked out. Here's Julian Darby. Here's Andy Walker. Andy Walker shoots and it's a goal! Oh, what a terrific goal! 16, 15, 16 yards out and Andy Walker, after 26 minutes of the second half, scores a second goal. As he scores the second goal, the rain's come down, but who's worried about that? Terrific. Good old Andy. The Burnham Paddock send up the champ. There's only one Andy Walker. Throw in to Redding. Redding right to be tamed by fullback Goodyear. Receives it back. Over it comes. Oh, it's there. What a goal. Good goal by Redding. It looks like Mark McGee, player manager, who scored that one. Down by the bottom. Bottom right. Brannigan didn't have much chance of it. In fact... Sinclair skips round the Bolton. <laughs> Midfield man Tony Kelly. Not seen a lot of Tony Kelly yet tonight. But Green on his own down the right. Horner's coming. Beats Green beats Horner. Green puts it across. Philly Scott's there. And it's a goal. What a goal by Philly Scott. Who does a somersault? Great goal there by Tony Philly Scott. His first of the season in the league. Brilliant goal after 27 minutes. Philly Skirk scores. And that man, Scott Green, once again involved in it. The ball came from the halfway line from Tony Kelly. In fact, I just said Tony Kelly wasn't involved much tonight, but he passed that ball out right to Scott Green, who put an inch perfect pass across to Philly Skirk. He'd skip round captain. Billy, uh, Phil Horner, terrific goal by Phyllis Kirkedy, goal. Plays it back to Brown, to Green, to Kelly. Kelly plays it out right again, to Brown, to Green, back to Kelly, beautiful triangles, Kelly again, plays a beautiful ball inside to Andy Walker, skips right, well, what a goal! Oh, two in a minute there. Andy Walker keeps up this brilliant, brilliant form. Brilliant, brilliant run he's having at the moment. Terrific. A goal in every league game. What can you say about him? But just as I'd said, Tony Kelly wasn't having much of an influence on this game. He's put two passes in, started two moves, but finished in goal. And listen that only one Andy Walker. Just to go back to the first goal, he put a beautiful ball out right to Second in his stride, he tried to turn and lob it over the Blackpool defender. Ball forward again. Philly Skirk. Walker. Now it's Julian Darby. One player to beat. Julian Darby. Drone one. Of course, the Blackpool defence massing. Now here's Green. Green switches on to his right foot. And what a goal! What a goal from Scott Green! Fantastic. Third goal of the night. Three different scorers, and the crowd shout, Greeny, Greeny, Greeny. 31 minutes gone in the second half. Julian Darby picked it up. <laughs> Just inside the Blackpool half there. So I went to, uh, across to Greeny, 